Alright, what's up? You know, I've had a lot of you ask me about what happened today in Annapolis because all we needed was 19 votes to kill Senate Bill 281, the law-abiding gun owner criminalization bill. All we needed was 19 votes to kill it, and the final vote was 28 to 19, so in all essence, we should have killed it. But in order to kill it, you have to filibuster it. You need 19 votes to filibuster it. And basically, this asshole here, Mr. DeGrange, and this asshole here, Mr. McMiddleton, voted for concurrence. That means it lets it go. So it, it ended up being 30 to 17 to stop it. But then, to save face, when they vote on the bill at the end, they voted to oppose the bill. So it was 28 to 19. So they can go back to their constituents and say, well, well I voted against uh, Senate Bill 281. I don't know what else you wanted me to do. And I called both of them this morning. This guy didn't answer the phone. This guy, I talked to his secretary, and she said he, she don't even think he knows what the fuck a filibuster is. And I was just like, well, when they ask him to uh, vote on concurrence, you just vote no, because all we need is 19 votes, and the bill is dead. It's gone. They can't pass it if we have 19 votes against concurrence. But, just like the first time around, because this is the, we had two chances to do it in the Senate, and both times, this asshole and this asshole voted for concurrence, which killed any chance we had of... Killing the bill. And. I don't know man. It, it was just disgusting. I listened to it again today. Let me see. I think I wrote down somebody's quote again. From uh, what they were saying. <laughs> today. Um, oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Yo, know, all right, right before the Senate Bill 281 hearing, one of O'Malley's, uh, let's say, welfare slaves from PG County said they had to uh, oppose an education bill because 40 people testified in opposition to the bill and only four testified in favor of the bill. And what did they do? Everyone opposed it. So the next one they called was Senate Bill 281. <laughs> and I think it was Nancy Jacobs got up there and said, you just said something about 40 people opposing a bill with four supporting it, and we killed it. Well, right here we have 1,400 people that came out and testified in opposition to this bill with 30 people testifying for it. And you're meaning to tell me that you care more about what 40 people think than what 1,400 people think? And it, it was just a it was a joke the whole time. I would like to thank my senator, Alan Kittleman. He's really the him, Nancy Jacobs, a couple of the Eastern Shore guys, Western Maryland guys. They they did what they were supposed to do. It's them gutless fucks from Montgomery County, PG County. And, and I still can't figure out why the fuck Baltimore City has so many more uh, senators and representatives than the rest of the, the counties throughout the state. They're only like a 5% portion of the state, but yet they have triple the amount of senators, like quadruple the amount of fucking delegates. There's so many fucking delegates from Baltimore City, it's ridiculous. There's like 30-some out of... Uh, what was it? It was like 80. It was, they were always voting like 88 against 44. And there's like 36 fucking delegates from Baltimore City. When, and, and I only have two. Mine's Warney Miller and uh, Gail Bates. I have two delegates. These fuckers have like 40 some. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. 
and I've really, everybody's talking about referendum and this and that. I don't think referendum's going to matter because all O'Malley has to say is, uh, if you don't go vote, vote for this bill, we're going to cut your, uh, your, your welfare or food stamp program. And then you're going to have 2.1 million fucking people in Baltimore voting for it. Plus, we just passed another law in Maryland stating that you don't have to, uh, use, uh, photo identification to vote. So now all the illegals are going to be out of vote in Maryland too. So we're fucked. We're absolutely fucked. I think the only thing that can save us is if we somehow manage to get to the Supreme Court because the 10 round limit basically bans about 70% of handguns. And they say you cannot ban handguns. Glock, Beretta, all of them. The only gun I've ever seen that comes in a sub 10 round magazine is either like a six shot revolver or the, um, like, like a 1911. Some of them come with eight rounds. Everything else is 13, 15, 17 round. Everything. And you, you can't even buy a 22 pistol handgun anymore because the bullets are so small. The magazine holds like 20 of them. So you can't even buy a 22 pistol anymore. That's how asinine this bill is. But yeah, I'm ranting now. So I'm going to cut it off there and I'm out. Peace.